part about coming here is, you know, we came down here last year and we, we, we rolled this stuff out not knowing if people would be into it or if they're kind of laugh us out of the convention center. And so, you know, coming back this year, everyone's using it, everyone's really into it, and it's nice to, like, to connect with everyone here as we like, complain around. So, but, but you, oh. it, it just it goes back to what I was saying before, it's, it's not having a fear of failure. You yeah. came over here, you didn't know what people were going to think of you, didn't know if you'd be laughed at, but you thought you had a cool idea, and you just ran with it. Look at the app now. If anyone's been using it for two weeks before, like we rolled out a new app, we changed the UI around, we did some weird stuff with trending. Like, we don't know if that's going to work or not. We're doing like public experiments with everyone here. We're getting feedback from people that run into us on the Foursquare court outside. And we take all that stuff and write it down, go back to the office, reinvent, and the product is going to look different 10 days from now. What kind of growth have you said growth? What kind of growth have you seen? Well, the usage is generally up 100% every month, which is crazy. And then, wow. yeah, I know, right? And then new user account growth is between. Know, it's like 55 and 70 percent, depending on how things are going. So how many people are using Foursquare right now? What are the stats? Like a week ago, it was we broke half a million like 10 days ago, and now I think we're at five, six. Wow. So it's it's crazy. You know? So why do you think location-based tools? Why is that the thing right now? Why are we transitioning well, into that? That's the way that you know it's what we we do when we're not online. We're at places. We're doing things. And you know, Twitter. Look at like the, the very early days of Twitter when people looked at it. It's like why would why does anyone care that you're eating a sandwich or going to the movies? And over time, we just learned that the more you share about what you're doing, like, the more interesting your life becomes in the context of everyone else. And you know, location sharing is a big part of that. By sharing the places that you go, the places that you visit, the people you're hanging out with, it just you know, it, 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 it you know, enables everything from like Saturday with meetups to discovery about new places and new things to do. What you guys do that's, that, that, that's so good with location and what's really allow us to, to do is combine the online world with the online yeah, yeah. You guys do that. Do you find, um, what's it, is it interesting for you to be pitching the brands? Do you guys pitch brands? Do they, do they come to you? How does that process work? We don't, we don't pitch anyone. It's awesome, right? <laughs> like, we're, we're in such a fortunate position where, you know, this goes back to what you guys were talking about before, experimental brands and who gets it, right? And so we don't do any outbound development. It's all incoming. And you know, some of it, some of it is okay, some of it's kind of lousy, and there's like a few nuggets that are really good, and those are the folks that we've decided to work with. And the organizations that we are working with, like you guys or some, like Bravos, others like the Times, um, you know, they're people that understand it and they're willing to throw crazy ideas at us. And you know, it takes maybe two hours of talking on the phone or a couple phone calls just to figure it out. But there's interesting ideas there. If you guys are willing to experiment with us, we're willing to experiment with you with them. You know, we're, we, what's amazing for us is that it also forces us to so we love to bring the minds inside of our organization as well, so we benefit from it too. And that's kind of what we're looking to do across the spaces. If you've got good ideas and interesting technologies, come talk to PepsiCo. We want to figure out how to learn and partner with you guys. I want to know how much of your marketing is spent on social media now, or not online. I'm discussing No, not, no, like how much, I mean, is it, we're seeing it, there's obviously a growth. You know, I mean, look, in terms of versus TV, because listen, I'm in the middle of the old world, and you see the TV money and the online money still. Look, I, I, I think it's, we're not necessarily looking at it 100% yeah. percentage of, of our budget, because we love TV. You know, we love the Super Bowl. We love big platforms. We also you love- You made a big, I mean, that was a big statement, not being as much part of the Super Bowl this year. Look, we love the Super Bowl part. We are still, you know, yeah. some of our other brands. I know you watch it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, actually, but it's a, it's a big platform. Um, but what we're really looking at is how do we shift from impressions to connection? So how do we use the money that we're spending in TV to actually drive a deeper connection? That could be connect with us on Foursquare, visit our Facebook. But how do we start using media to build longer-term relationships instead of it being a sine wave of you're on, you're off, you're on, you're off? How do we build an audience that we can connect with continually over time? That was brilliant, by the way. <laughs> Are you like that, Dennis? Well, I mean, it's the whole word. here, it's like, no one knows. You get on these panels, and everyone's like, what's going to happen in the next year or so? It's like, I don't know. Like, this year looks completely different than last year. And so you can't predict this stuff. It's all about just experimenting, like, experimenting in public, like, succeeding in public and, and failing in public. Well, the other, more important, at least from a brand perspective, than what's cool, what's going to happen next, what, what, what do we need to be jumping on, is do you have the back end of the business set up in a position where you are flexible enough to, to wherever it is? Is it going to take you several months to get to, to go into location networking? You know, if it's going to take you that long, then you've got a, you've got a broken process. You've got to have yourself ready, marketing, PR, communications, every legal, everybody has to be aligned yeah. and ready to move fast. Right, and I'm not going to ask them the what's next question because I don't want to look weird. Sorry. Um, no. <laughs> um, well, Dennis, uh, Dennis, I did actually
bumped into Dennis's uh, iPhone app developer <laughs> randomly at 3 a.m. in a diner the other night. Tim, right? Yeah. Yes, Tim. Great guy. But you've been developing quickly and the growth has been happening quickly. You're, you have the app now on the iPhone, Blackberry. What is next? I mean, are you going to move towards having kind of like in terms of you know, have the user selected list? Are you going to kind of move towards having evangelists in different communities? And, I think more so. We're starting to see. You see this already on, on Foursquare. You've got, you know, the, the average person has like six or eight friends, which is much different than what Facebook looks like. You've got some people that have, you know, 50 or 100 friends, but then you've got like your your Robert Scovels, and like we're, you're getting into that level where we're starting to have like celebrities perhaps interested in using it. So it's a different type of paradigm. Like Foursquare is a different product than Twitter. You're sharing a different type of location. It's a different set of problems that we have to adjust with people. And so what is next for you? I mean, you're obviously moving forward to develop stuff because there's a lot of people using. Yeah, I, I mean, what's next for us is like we we can start we can start to help people make smarter decisions about the things that they're doing. Like right? every you know, people talk about Twitter and like, oh, a tweet is valuable 15 minutes after you send it. And you know, is that true or not? We're not sure. But you know, people say the same thing about a check-in. Like, oh yeah, I missed that person so what? You know, the value of the check-in is not you know that and it's that 15 minutes, but it's also you know the check-ins from five days ago, from 10 days ago, from two months ago. It's all information on the types of things that you like to do, the people you like to hang out with. We can start using that to service interesting things. So when you come back here next year, you're not looking for the place that has breakfast tacos. Force Group will buzz in your pocket and be like, guess what? It's breakfast taco time, and this is where you go. Whoa, so you're going to like control our lives. Yeah. <laughs> and go for breakfast tacos where, where, now at this place. Where that, like, that friend that taps you on the shoulder and says, hey, this is, you're going to have a fun time if you do this. So curation, in a way, it's is the future. Is that the buzzword we're hearing this year? I think so. I think curation is a big part of it. It's making sense out of like a lot of the data that's that's being collected by Twitter, by some of the stuff that we're doing too, and you know, collecting it, and analyzing it, and spitting it back to everyone so they can make interesting decisions. All right. So as we wrap things up, I need to say, like, what do you you refresh right now? Because you know, you're obviously at every major event. Like, what's your next big uh, project that you guys are looking forward to? Hopefully, we'll work with you. Uh, internet. Internet. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we some amazing stuff that's going to uh, launch on the Gatorade brand, so we're excited. We suggested everybody listen out for some interesting news there. I think uh, the other really interesting stuff that we're working on is, or well, actually, I think events like this, what I'm excited about is our ability to start partnering with all of the folks that are <clears throat> potentially here and, and working with emerging technology. I mean, that's where we see a lot of opportunity for us. Yeah, that's an important distinction to make, I think, when you're talking about what's the next thing you're going to do. One of the most important next things is just build on what gets started here. This is a, but this isn't a nine day or five day on and off we're done. You build on everything, everybody you talk to, all the technologies you become aware of. That's the, really the next thing you do is just see what you take from this and move forward rather than treating it as a campaign. This, this is the future. You know, it sounds so yeah. boring to say it, but like what's happening 12 months from now, the, the regular people, the muggles, are going to be doing in 12 months what everyone here is doing today. You know, like. Checking in, chasing the parties based on the trending data, you know, getting recommendations about where to go based upon past history. I mean, that's that's the way this stuff is going. And like everyone here gets a little glimpse into the future. Very nice. Well, I feel like on that note, that's a great way to end this uh, panel. You guys have been great. You've some awesome insights. So thank you so much. And now I, I have a job for you. I have a car for you. And then hopefully some tacos next year for you. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much to all of you for being thank here you and watching. Exactly.